Hey everyone, it's me, Carlo Libertini, and thanks for joining me here on Pro Mix Academy. We're going to be looking at Studio One's Scratch Pad. Do you know what Scratch Pad is? Are you using Scratch Pad? Well, I guarantee you, after this video, you might start to want to try. What Scratch Pad does is it basically copies your whole session into a parallel workflow environment. Now, typically, you would have to save your work, close it, open it up again, fool around with it under a different file name, and to create a new version. But what Studio One does, I think is a super smart workflow advancement. It allows you to open two sessions at once at the same time in the same workflow environment. And it's called Scratchpad. Allows you to take one of those versions and just mess around with the arrangements and such. And I think it's really cool. Let's take a look at it right here. Now, what I did is I recorded some guitar parts for us to use. Let's take a listen. Okay, now my first tip for you is, I feel that this works really great when you're tracking to the grid with a click. And to do that, obviously in Studio One, I'll show you really quickly, there's some metronome settings here in the toolbar, you can turn it on and off. And here in the master fader, you can turn it on and off. And this little mid middle button here is a level adjustment, okay? And the wrench next to the metronome allows you to create your custom tones for your metronome. So there's a little tip for you. And the reason why I recommend recording to a click is because we're gonna start sliding parts around and we're gonna lock it to the grid so it has some continuity and it doesn't leave the tempo mode. And you'll see that in a second. Okay, now to get started here, you wanna open up your arrangement bar here in the menu bar. If you don't see it under global track visibility, select arranger right there, and there it is. Now I'm going to hold control here in a PC. I believe it's an option on a Mac. And you can draw in areas to label your sections. Right click and you can customize those sections. I'm gonna double click on this and call it obviously, call it part six. And the next one we'll call obviously, let's uh, rename that one to part seven. And then you can also select track colors to represent those like that. So. This is important because it helps you, you know, understand and make sense of what you're working with here, labeling things and saving things, which I also recommend my next tip would be to save a version of your work. You actually come up to file and choose save a new version or save as, so you could come back in case, you know, you push things a little too far with your new arrangements and scratch pad. You can always revert back. So save your work as you create. Okay, let's uh, create a new scratch pad. To do this, I'm going to select, let's see, I'll select this entire, all of these bars, and I'm gonna right click on any one of them and say, copy to new scratch pad. And there you go, as easy as that. Now what you're looking at here is the same files. We have a parallel arrangement window. One here is the original, and this one now is called scratch pad one. You can activate it here in the toolbar at the top if you don't see it too. And you have some further menu options. You can rename it to anything you'd like. Scratch pad, let's call it scratch pad T-E-S-T. -E and there you go. All right, at any time you can do any of those. All right, great. Now, let's have a little bit of fun. And if you wanted to, by the way, come up and, and you can delete scratch pad, it's gone. So at any time, you're not affecting your work. It's as easy as that. So let's do it again together. You could right click on any one of these parts. You can move this one to a new scratch pad, copy one part or the entire section to a scratch pad at any time. All right, and there we go. There's our scratch pad. Don't believe me it's the same scratch pad? Check it out. There you go. Now, this is where it gets really cool, but here's my next tip for you. If you have a track selected, for example, and open up Inspector, it's gonna give you parameters for those different tracks, bass synth, drums, plucks, guitar. 
but the arrangement bar here, if you select it, will give you its own inspector window. Here you can actually jump around. See what I'm doing? I'm double clicking on the parts. And I'm already beginning to audition how this would sound under a different arrangement. And it's that cool. Let's actually do that right now. Let's say I wanted part seven to be the intro. Let's take part one. I'm going to drag it off to the side here. Take part seven, bring it over here, lock it to the grid and bring part seven, part one to where part seven was. I'm making a new arrangement. Now, to prevent even further accidentals or make things easier for you, there's something called sync mode right here. From the drop down, you can see you can turn it on and off. This allows Studio One to give you further foolproof, uh, you know, from making accidentals when you're moving things around. It'll do its best to lock it to the bar. You can do one bar, two bar, four bars, or turn it off and just go by your grid separation here. You can turn it on and off your grid locking here. So scratch pad sync mode allows you further, um, further, I would say, accuracy when sliding these around. Let's take a listen to what we just did. We move part seven to part one. Now we're having fun and you can further begin to move things around by let's say dividing things in half. Let's go to, now we're working strictly with our scratch pad now in a parallel version. I could take my, let's take my split tool and let's go to, let's oh, I'll spread this one a little bit here and let's make it just a little bit bigger. Uh, let's say I wanna split that bar four right there. Now I've created additional parts here. So you can divide these up even further. How about here on bar eight? And let's do one here on bar 10. Now I can move these around even further. Let's have a little bit of fun. Let me go back to my selector tool. And let's say I want to take this part out here. I want to bring this part in there, move it a little bit closer. And I want to move this part right there. I am rearranging this using scratch pad. Now, regardless of what it sounds like, I know it's the process I'm trying to highlight here. I do feel that this works obviously great when you're using more syncopated tones and rhythms to the grid like loops. And a lot of us are using loops today. I'm using a combination of loops and organically recorded guitar material here, but it's the process I wanna highlight. Let's take a listen here at bar one. So I'm creating new arrangements. I think this is an amazing workflow advancement that everyone should be experimenting with. Being able to open up a parallel version of your work in the same arrangement window and manipulate them any way you want here in the arranger allows you a lot of creative freedom. Let's say I wanted to create a shorter version of this for let's say a commercial purposes or a sample piece I wanted to make. Well, if this track was five minutes long and I needed a 30 second, you know, version of it, perhaps scratch pad is the answer because typically you'd have to be cutting up sections and then, you know, doing it the hard way, but by labeling them and locking them to the grid and using sync mode, we know that we've got chunks of materials that you can arrange like books on a shelf. And that is Scratchpad. I definitely recommend diving in and checking it out. Here we've got the original version here. You can just select the window here like this or this one here. You can jump around. Remember, let's say I want to hear part seven. I'm going to select here under scratch pads. Double click there. Let's jump to part four. Let's jump to part six. Let's jump to part one in our scratch pad. I just love it. I really love it. And you could right click on these, by the way, in the arrangement section to further edit those, just like we did here in the top parts. By right clicking here, you have the same context menu. All right, dive right in, stay busy, stay creative, everyone, and just have fun with your work. Thank you for watching.
Hey everyone and thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Leave your comments below. Like, share and subscribe.